It took a long time for me to really appreciate popular music. I mean, I was I was definitely in that world. I, I've been in that 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 arena for for a long time, and I've hung out with Courtney Love, and I've, you know whatever, done the worse things than that even, believe it or not. Um, but, uh, but, but all in the name of pop. But, um, <laughs> but I always kind of maintained this slight disdain for the, for the genre um, and, and thought that, you know, the world of opera was, was far more, you know, um, enticing. Um, lo and behold, I went into that world, I wrote an opera and had a lot of success with that. But I did s develop this yearning for where I'd come from which was a freer, more, um, I don't know, younger, uh, sexier um, existence, which was the world of pop. I, I've been friends with Helena Bonham Carter for many years. Um, she actually was a bit of a stalker, believe it or not. She would come to like numerous concerts and kind of hang out backstage and after a while I'd be like who is this rather interesting crazy woman I think she's legend and and uh, I think she thinks I'm pretty good too originally I was gonna be the librarian and then there was gonna be three special guests uh, one of which was going to be Helen Bonham Carter, but financial issues, you know, made it that we had to switch it. And Helena became the library, and then I became, had to play three roles. Um, and then in the end, oh, wanting to just all have sex together was kind of the finale, which is kind of the finale of everything. I wish. I've written three songs about my daughter, yeah. Viva, only one of which I put on the album, and. Um, because I didn't want to come off as this like hor horribly, you know, overbearing father, um, doting gay father. But uh, but I but I but I yeah no I'm it's, it's an amazing experience. And what's really nice about it is that I'm so organized in my in my artistic exploits. You know, I'm going to write an opera. I'm going to do a pop record, and it's all kind of planned out. And do this tour and do that. And it's great to have a child because I think that'll add a lot of unexpected issues in my life and a lot of. Um, you know, left turns, and and uh, I'm just excited for it not to be all me all the time. Believe it or not. Go ahead, accuse me of just singing about places where scrappy boys' faces have general run of the town. Toronto has really stepped up to h help artists. You know, I mean, they they premiered my opera here. My boyfriend, uh, Jorn Weisbrot, fiance, actually. Uh, got an incredible job here, uh, heading the Luminato Festival, which is a great, great uh, um, institution of this fantastic city. And we have a place in Toronto now, and uh, and I'm really enjoying it. In terms of having somewhere to land, and really, you know, you know, get rid of the pressure and get rid of the you know, insanity. I mean, this this town is great for that, and, and just what the doctor ordered. So, so I need some chill time, and this is a great place to do that. Oh, what a shame that your pocket should bleed on St. Valentine's, and you sat in a chair thinking, boy, I'm such 